So welcome back to the show. And now I have the, really the privilege to have Margaret Lynch with me. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Hi, Bertrand. I am great this morning. It's morning here in the east coast of U.S., so I am up and at them. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just ask you how the weather is where you are? Because here... It's- it's very, very hot. It's very, it's like in the 90s, we've had a heat wave and it's humid and then we get rain. So it's, um, it's fabulous when you are on the ocean. Let's put it that way. Ah, okay. Uh, I am close to the sea and uh, it's gray and it's raining, but that's, I think it's part of being an island, you know. They're, what they're carrying. Mm-hmm. So really uh, working on the chakras and EFT is helping us to, because you're talking about seven levels of wealth mastery. So can you just yeah. elaborate a little bit more because uh, just so that we, we, we can introduce the program because I, I honestly, uh, and I, I'm never selling on this show, but this time, honestly, I feel that what you have done is, is incredible. So that's why I really wanted you to be here, but also to understand a bit more about what, what it is. So. Yeah, and so it's the seven levels of wealth manifestation because what we what we, we do is we have the seven chakras, which come from the ancient yogic tradition, right, that, that many people have heard of the chakras. But even if you haven't, this is a program where you're going to learn, um, and, and even in the videos, you'll learn a little bit about the chakra. But it's, it's less important to know that a chakra is a spinning vortex of light and more importantly to know, to know that the chakras are the seven ways that we both express who we are and we manifest, Right. So there's seven ways of of being as a human being. There's seven levels to the human experience. And the chakras really give you this amazing map of that. OK, so do you want me to sort of run through how we teach the chakras? Yeah, if you, if you don't mind. For a few minutes. Yeah. Now, I had never heard of the chakras before a couple of years ago when I met my my fiance, Reese Thomas, who is the founder and the director of the Reese Thomas Institute of Energy Medicine. So he is just this visionary guy in the energy medicine world, and he runs this huge three-year program, and he teaches the chakras like nobody else. So even if you've heard of the chakras, a lot of people are saying, I've never heard of these vows and the chakras taught this way. And it's really because it comes from one source, from, from Reese Thomas. And he's never really shared this outside his school. So this is where this is where I get my my secret source of information. So so the first chakra is um, is co- is at the coccyx. So if you're sitting in a chair, you're sitting on your first chakra. <laughs> That's where it's physically located in the body. Um, but really, your first chakra is the level of consciousness of everything solid in your life, everything that's real and solid. You came onto the planet when you were born to not be in spirit world anymore, but to actually be physically on this planet and not only be a spiritual being, but also have to deal with the physical reality of having a body, other people's bodies, um, needing um, to survive. So the first chakra is about your everything physical in your life, which money is one of those things. And it's also about the other thing that's as real and solid in your life, which is your earliest set of beliefs that paradigm about you, people, how the world is, whether it's safe or not, whether money is safe or not. Every aspect about what's real and solid and true is part of your first chakra. It's that original set of beliefs that you got from your your tribe of origin, as we call it. The second chakra, which is in the sacrum area, is about your, is how you feel. It's your sensate world. It's how you feel the world and feel who you are. Not think about who you are, but actually feel through your unique nervous system what it is you like and how the world feels to you and what emotions you have, what desires you have, and what your value is based on how you feel feel yourself, not on how you think. Your value is based on how you feel yourself. So money really connects energetically the most, the second chakra, because it's it, it's the way you interact with your self-image, right? How valuable you are in the world and how much power that you're willing to carry. A lot going on with the second chakra. And so as we come up to the third chakra, this is where you realize oh my God, I have this cool one-of-a-kind body and I have this amazing nervous system and feelings that are just unbelievable and desires and wants and callings and things that pull me and things that I don't like. And you realize at the third chakra, I am a one-of-a-kind, unique person. Okay. Also, this is where, where you're scared. This is where you're really present. 
Right. You know? So at the third, when you when your third chakra is not that strong, the vow is around. Well, I don't know if I really am somebody that's that unique. So I'm going to try to be somebody who everyone's telling me that's a better person. You know, they'd rather have me be quiet and polite. They'd rather have me be humble and play small. They'd rather have me just be quiet and invisible. Okay, so at the third chakra, we cater to other people's opinions or we stand there and shine like the miracle that we are. And, and we might still get hurt, our feelings hurt if somebody, you know, people write things to me and say, you know, you're weird. I don't like you. You know, I can still get my feelings hurt, of course. But do I change who I am? No. OK, so as we go up through the chakras, you could take any subject you wanted. You could take power, you, which I do a program like that. That's all about personal power. Um, you could take sexuality. You could take money. You could take relationships and you could take that subject and run it up through each chakra and see what your issues and blocks and vows are at each chakra and when you're truly expressing that chakra, how you are manifesting and living at that level of consciousness. Okay. So I chose wealth and took that subject and I run up through every chakra. Okay. So at the third chakra, this is also your power center because when you realize how freaking amazing and awesome you are, this is where you shine with that uniqueness. And the, the uniqueness that you put out in the world is directly, this is where you, you, you actually act from that uniqueness. You take action from that is directly going to bring in money from your, your actions. OK, so it's kind of like the most direct way I take action. I get paid for that action. Um, but if at the second chakra, you don't feel valuable, you're you don't think that your value is very high. You don't feel very valuable in yourself. You won't actually allow money to continue to manifest in your life. OK, so as we move up the chakras, we get to the heart chakra, which is about how you come into relationship with other people, you know, wanting to share, you know, hey, I realized I'm a miracle at my third chakra. Now I want to share that in relationship with people. Right. And see what kind of a miracle they are. And then at the fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra, um, that's how we speak. You know, I can't come into relationship with you until I use my voice and express who I am. And, and, and the only way you can really know me is through my voice. Very, very powerful. You know, Deepak Chopra teaches that at the fifth level of spirituality, which is the fifth chakra level, that is when we intend something and it manifests. So what you speak, both within yourself and out in the world, truly is where manifestation starts, right? Very cool. At the sixth chakra is where you have people think of it as your psychic side. It's a third eye chakra. Um, but really what you do with the sixth chakra is it shows you the world as it is in your place in it. OK, so if you were to close your eyes and imagine with your sixth chakra that you could see yourself surrounded by the entire planet of people, you can see everybody and you can see you standing there. Um, you would be able to see, wow, there's my third chakra. I am unique. And the gifts that I have are so needed by everyone around me. Okay. Or have you made a vow at your sixth chakra to filter the world through your fears and see, I guess I'm not really that valuable. Ah, nobody around me likes me. Okay. So the vows can, can affect every chakra. And at the, the seventh chakra, it's our connection to source, to, um, you know, to the divine, to the infinite possibility. And it's really where you, um, you really, the law of attraction talks about infinite possibility exists. And sometimes for a moment or two, that actually feels true, right? Because we can't walk around 24 hours a day really in the state of, Abundance exists in every moment. It's overwhelming. We, our mind can't grasp around that. But we can have that moment for a few seconds and be open to, wow, you know, what if law of attraction really is real <laughs> and there really is infinite abundance? I would love to believe that all the time. And I, I sometimes get those really strong moments at my seventh chakra. Okay. So the reason why I use the chakras is because it's a map. And you can look at the you can look at the negative vows as Reese teaches them at every chakra, which I find absolutely life changing. And when you understand the chakras, um, you understand that that clearing 
happens up when we're healing or clearing something like when we're tapping it clears up and out but manifestation comes down yeah and uh, so the manifestation channel comes actually down and has to come all the way down into our first chakra to become real and solid money for example and now i can i can understand what you said at the very start that um Whatever exercise we were doing with the law of attraction are usually the one on the sixth and seventh chakra, because this is where we affirm, where we visualize, and everything. Yep. But and it's fabulous to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if the rest is stuck, then it it will not come. Yeah, it's not going to come down any further, right? And so I, I'll just kind of walk quickly down them to show you how manifestation works. Okay. Are we, how are we doing on time? Uh, we have another five minutes. Okay, so, so with, with the seventh chakra, you might have that moment of inspiration of infinite abundance, okay? And you have an inspiration. People say, I did the tapping, and I suddenly had this amazing idea. Okay, so we can have visualize and have an amazing um, picture of the future, but if it doesn't come down into our sixth chakra, where we actually choose it and say, you know what? I can really see that I can fit in this plan, that I could actually... This could actually be something I could visualize happening. I can see myself in this new role doing this amazing thing, okay? Now, a lot of people get a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas, and they don't take action, right? No, oh, and then I had a new idea. Then I had a new idea. So it has to come down into our fifth chakra where we intend it, where we start to open our mouths first inside of us and then externally, and we say, this is actually my intention, I am actually setting this as a goal. I'm going to make this happen. And we start talking to people about it. This is where it really starts to manifest. You know, I want to, you know, uh, sell a million books. I don't know how to make that happen. But I'm going to start talking about it and talking to people about it and talking to myself about it. Okay. Now, have you ever heard the expression, her heart wasn't in it? Yeah, of course. Okay? Yeah. And so it, it could stay here and you could talk about a lot of great ideas and some people do that. And if, But if your heart doesn't get into it, if it doesn't get down to the fourth chakra and you fall in love with the idea and you can't wait to share yourself in this idea and you're even, I can't wait to meet those people that, they're, that I'm going to be involved with as this idea unfolds for me. Okay, it stops. Now it gets down to the third chakra where wham, I go, oh my God, I kind of person that can make this happen and I start taking action okay now for some people they get this far and they take a lot of action don't they and then 10 years later their income is still flat okay because after we take all that action we have to be able to receive and that is a second chakra energy our second chakra has to has to have a program that says I totally deserve and am valuable to receive because I actually want to give and I want to receive and I'm admitting it. And so I'm open to receiving. And so with the second chakra, it's where we allow the reward to show up. Okay. And then at the first chakra, we literally become a magnet for physical things. When the first chakra is open, we physically draw to ourselves the material manifestation. So at the, if it can come all the way down the manifestation channel into our, all the way to the first chakra, we're now physically attracting the stuff, including the money that will show up from all of that inspiration, action, falling in love with it. And so this is why I'm so passionate about about people understanding that there's seven chakras, there's seven ways to be, and from those ways of being, we manifest money, All right? So the program, The Seven Levels of Wealth Manifestation, is an intensive walk through using tapping as a powerful modality to clear all the chakras and open on the other side of how we manifest from that chakra. And, and you know, I've got that. I know you've got the link there too. There's, there's four free videos that people can watch full length videos where they can do the tapping and have the aha moments you talked about. Um, because I really want to make sure that so many people get uh, this information. And I think the videos are going to be available for a couple of weeks. It's very, very expensive the way that they're being hosted because at this point, about 42,000 people have watched the videos, Bertrand. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to keep them up for a couple more weeks. It's really, um, um, it, it's really, really cool to have that many people having that many shifts. There's almost 4,000 comments on the videos. And, um, and and really take a look at, at it. I'd love for people to really get those exercises and, and make some real shifts the way you did just in the free videos. Yeah, and the shift are, are very profound. It's, I think it's a shift and it's, a, it's awareness. Because yeah. without, without the awareness, you can't really do anything. But that helps me to understand. And that was really an opening for me. 
Yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah. And certainly, you know, when people, if you watch the videos, you're going to get a transformation. But if this is the work you really want to do, that's where people are interested in the whole program because it's the full transformation. Yeah. So. It was something that you said, and uh, I would like to mention this. What you said about it's when you talk about the seven chakra, but the manifestation process, okay. so from the seven down to the, to the first. Yeah. It's um, two things. First, it is completely the power of intention in action. Yeah. And the second thing is that I remember that Wayne Dyer has this affirmation that is great. I contemplate myself surrounded by the condition I wish to attract in my life. That's yes. something we can repeat over and over and over. But if you can't receive it, then it will stay at some level. Yeah, yeah it'll stay good up here. You know, yeah. and, and people, I hear from people like that. You know, I visualized for a whole year and at the end of the year, I couldn't believe my bank account was the same, you know. And so it, it, it's 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 a wonderful thing to visualize but the visualization is to trigger you to to start talking about it to fall in love with it to start taking action you know it, the the that's one piece and it's meant to trigger and enlighten you know as we say one drop of consciousness is supposed to light you on fire all the way through your system and and that's what we want to happen that's being alive <laughs> Completely. So thank yeah. you very much. I, I, we, 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 we were intending to do some tapping, but as we were running out of time. But okay. I think that uh, it was so great just to understand the, the link between chakras, how we can clean them, how we can, the vows, how they're stopping us. And that's something completely new for me. I never, ever, I've been studying 10 years now with the law of attraction and everything. But I never heard about this and how we can clear this. Yes. Yeah. I hadn't either until I met Reese Thomas, so it's fascinating stuff. And and there's plenty of tapping in the in the free videos, so so hopefully we'll still get the tapping in. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, Margaret. It was really really thank great. Thank you. Thank you, Bertrand. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.